κυρία για ασφάλιση στο παρελθόν την ε, ανάπτυξη της Αθήνας του Χρυσού Ιωάννα του Περικρή. Το λιμάνι του Περιά αποτελεί και σήμερα ένα όχημα ισχυρής ανάπτυξης για ολόκληρη την Είναι πύλη εξόδου, είναι για μεταπονιστικό κέντρο, για συνδεδεμένο πλέον, όπως είδαμε, με τις ιδεολογικές υποδομές της χώρας, γίνεται το λιμάνι ένας πάρα πολύ σημαντικός κόμπος του διευρωπαϊκού δικτύου μεταφορών. Η Ελλάδα ολοκληρώνει επιτέλους στρατηγικά δίκτυα υποδομών που επιτρέπουν και εγώ θα έλεγα απελευθερώνουν επενδύσεις δίνουν δικαίωμα στην ενίσχυση της επιχειρηματικότητας και επιτρέπουν ιδιαίτερα σε αυτές τις δύσκολες ώρες που περνάει ο ελληνικός λαός νέες θέσεις εργασίας. Σήμερα χαιρετίζουμε την υπογραφή συμφωνίας μεταξύ δύο ιδιωτικών εταιριών παγκοσμίου βελινεκού της Κόσκο και της Ιούλα Πάκα που ακριβώς χρησιμοποιούν αυτές τις υποδομές και δραστηριοποιούνται πετυχημένα σε αυτό το νέο πλαίσιο εμπιστοσύνης και σταθερότητας που κερδίζουμε σήμερα στη χώρα μας. Ενημερώθηκα μαζί με τους άλλους καλεσμένους για την πρόοδο αυτών των επενδύσεων παρά τις συνθήκες ύφεσης που επικρατούν στον τόπο και για τα μελλοντικά σχέδια της κόσμου που θωρακίζουν τις επενδύσεις και που χτίζουν μια νέα δυναμική στη διακίνηση των επαραγματοτυπωτίων εδραιώνοντας έτσι τον Πειραιά στον διεθνή χάρτη σφραγίζοντας έτσι τη δύναμη της θέσης του Πειραιά στον διεθνή χάρτη των παγκοσμίων μεταφορών. Τέτοιες επενδύσεις βοηθούν στον τόπο μας στην αντιμετώπιση της ανεργίας και παραμένει όπως ξέρετε και το ξαναλέω πρώτη στην ατζέντα αυτής της κυβέρνησης. Δεν υπάρχουν για την ανεργία μαγικές λύσεις. Μόνο δυναμικές συνεργασίες, δυναμικές κινήσεις όπως η σημερινή προς όφελος της κοινωνίας. Κινήσεις που προσφέρουν και την ψήφο της τοσύνης που κατακτά σταθερά η ελληνική οικονομία πλέον. Θέλω να ευχαριστήσω και τις δύο αυτές εταιρείες, οι οποίες με αυτή τη δυναμική κίνηση και με αυτή τη σημερινή υπογραφή θα συμβολήσουν μια νέα αρχή για τον Πειραιά, μια νέα αρχή για την ελληνική οικονομία και μια απόδειξη ότι μπορούμε να τα βγάλουμε πέρα με τον τρόπο που εμείς οι Έλληνες ξέρουμε σε αυτή τη δύσκολη στιγμή που περνάμε δίνοντας το δικαίωμα της ελπίδας και της αισιοδοξίας κυρίως στα νέα τα παιδιά που αυτά έχουν επενδύσουν από τις υπογραφές που σήμερα θα δοθούν για να κλείσει αυτή η τόσο σημαντική συμφωνία μεταξύ των δύο αυτών παγκόσμιων κολοσσών. Σας ευχαριστώ και πάλι πάρα πολύ για τις παρουσίες της ευρώ.
that international companies are increasingly recognizing Greece's potential to become a key hub for international trade, transportation, and services. Piraeus, as Greece's largest and most vital port, offers tremendous potential as a platform for trade with Southeastern Europe, increased tourism, as well as other commercial activity and investment. As Hewlett Packard officials have told me, the company saw an opportunity in Piraeus and took advantage of the new infrastructure investments and plans here led by Costco. Such investment will be a critical engine in driving economic growth in Greece in the future. I firmly believe that Hewlett Packard's vote of confidence in Greece will contribute to job creation and economic recovery while sending a strong signal to other companies considering investing in Greece. It is my fervent hope that more investment in Greece by American and other international companies will follow. Thank you all very much. We welcome my ambassador, Do Please Speak. Mr. Prime Minister, Honorable Ministers, Your Excellency Ambassador Daniel Smith and Mrs. Smith, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, here in and Magazine. Let me begin by extending our warmest congratulations for the launching of the Costco PCT, Billy Parker, and Trade Bosset Tripartite Corporation. I point it out by His Excellency the Prime Minister and His Excellency the American Ambassador. What we are witnessing today is an event of great significance, not only for the businesses directly involved, but also for the future of the public Arabs and for the economic revival of our host country. It will no doubt be remembered as a milestone in the public direct efforts to recapture its position as a major and flourish, flourishing maritime transportation service center in the Mediterranean. Let which Costco Tariff and trade or sales success in their negotiations with other multinational businesses. Here I want to share with you what a great friend said to me. Like all of us, he's very happy when the Costco PCT, Dulit Parker, and Trade Outside Corporation. He said, Marina Naguri. In a echume and a gadio de Dria, the Tesla, 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 Mr. Prime Minister, Honorable Ministers, ladies and gentlemen, as the ambassador of China in Greece, I'm particularly pleased to note the remarkable success of Costco PCT's two and a half year operation. This is of course, this of course came about as a result of the hard work and outstanding performance of the management and employees of Costco PCT. It is also thanks to the strong support of the Greek and Chinese governments and the good cooperation that was given to it by its local and international partners. And bears testimony to Costco PCT's guiding philosophy of harmony and being with. Mr. Prime Minister, Honorable Minister, ladies and gentlemen, the Chinese government attaches great importance to its relations with Greece, and the Chinese side is working hard to further expand our cooperation and exchanges in all areas. We are going to keep on encouraging Chinese businesses to come and invest in Greece on the principle of mutual benefit and win-win results. We'll be very happy if our cooperation can be upheld to Greece's effort to overcome the current difficulties and to bring about growth and long-term development. With that said, please allow me to conclude by once again wishing the Costco PCT, Hewlett Parker, and train all set operation a great success, such as our stop.
this year to all the esteemed ministers from the, uh, the Greek uh, government. We are uh, very appreciative of your support as we move through uh, this most important project for HP. Uh, your support has been, uh, has been uh, timely, um, and, and strategic, uh, very pro-business, and uh, very, very much uh, appreciated. And uh, again, our partners in Costco and uh, Trano say, uh, we look forward to extending our, our partnership and collaboration as we grow our operations here in, uh, in, in Greece to serve uh, the, the, entire, the entire region. So we are here today because we, we believe in Greece and we believe in the future of the Greek economy. And uh, we applaud the wisdom of the investments that were made in the, uh, the logistics operations and port operations that we, we just toured. Uh, you know, what we just saw as we walked and, and, and traveled around uh, in the tour what is, a, is a world class port operation uh, that wasn't done overnight. It was, it was a, a, a tremendous foresight and significant investment over multiple years, and it's a port operation that compares with the best port operations anywhere in, in the world. So we've, we've, we've watched and we've observed uh, the, the, the growth of the operations. Uh, we're impressed by the, the stability of the operations, uh, both the, uh, the port operations per se, and now with the new rail connection. Uh, the, the continuity uh, of, of the operations, uh, the effectiveness and efficiency uh, and industriousness of the workforce. And, um, and we've seen enough to make uh, our decision and uh, to, to, to vote with our business and uh, to bring um, um, an important part of our business here into the, uh, the, the, the port of Piraeus to serve the region. So I'm going to share with you briefly just a brief uh, snapshot of, of HP, the scale of the business, a little bit of the history of our logistics into, into uh, Europe and into the Middle East and Africa, uh, what the future, the present and the future is, and how we will leverage the, uh, the, the port of Piraeus, we think to our uh, competitive advantage. So this gives you a sense of the scale of HP. You know, every 60 seconds, uh, we, we make 120 PCs. You can have, we'll read all of these too, right? 100 printers, you know, seven networking devices, 1,200 um, um, either phone or, or, or uh, ink jet cartridges. So tremendous velocity. And our success is, is dependent on getting those goods and, 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 and products to our customers in a, in a timely and cost-effective fashion. So logistics is just as important and a part of our business and our success as research and development and, and technology is. So when we take a decision about our logistics network, we take it very deliberately, very carefully, we're the largest uh, broad-based IT company in the world, and generally where we lead, our competitors follow. So this represents the scale of the business. Uh, more than 600 suppliers, more than 60 billion uh, in, in, in dollars of the scale of the, uh, the supply chain of HP, serving uh, uh, tens of millions of customers around the world in over 140 countries. So historically, if you look back, a little more than a decade, this is what you know the, the PC industry looked like for HP with a significant manufacturing, because this was mostly desktop manufacturing before the dawn of you know, the growth of the notebook. Significant manufacturing in North America and, and largely using the ports of, uh, of, of Northern Europe. And it, was, it was natural that we would use those ports because that was a short job and there was a proximity to it. Now the world has changed. Uh, now this is, this is, these are the manufacturing operations that serve Europe. And so in, in Europe, we manufacture PCs. In greater Europe, we manufacture PCs. In St. Petersburg, we manufacture them in Czech. We manufacture them in Turkey. And, and each of those manufacturing operations has a significant flow, inbound flow, of components and parts that need to flow into those factories quickly, efficiently, cost-effectively. So there's a big inbound flow of those. In addition, we also manufacture uh, PCs and other products in China. And those finished goods, likewise, need to flow into Europe, Middle East, and Africa to serve our, our customers here. So there's two flows. It's the flow of inbound parts to serve our European factories, including the factory in, in Turkey. And it's the flow of finished goods from China, two significant flows uh, for, for HP. So as we consider the flows, and as we consider our network architecture, a critical part of the core value of HP is what's the right thing to do for the environment? And, and, and an important aspect of that is what's the least carbon intensive way to do this? So as I'll, I'll explain to you, this decision 
for to, to, to open this operation and this network operation out of Korea is not just good for Greece and not just good for HP as competitive advantage, it's also good for the environment. Okay. So as you can see, we're focused on ocean as our principal means of transportation, and ocean versus air, which is the other alternate, the trans primary alternate to transport goods from Asia, is about 57 times less carbon intensive. Okay. So as we move ocean through Piraeus, we're not just helping the Greek economy, we're not just creating you know, uh, value for our customers, we also believe we're helping the environment. So this, this is our forward looking strategy. And formerly, uh, we would have served uh, that blue area, we would have served that in northern Europe. So for example, we would have taken, you know, just steamed right through the Suez Canal, gone right past Piraeus, steamed on for seven more days to go to those northern ports, and then potentially on a truck or even a plane, ship the goods back to toward North Africa, or ship the goods back to Turkey, or ship the goods back to Egypt or Israel. So you can see that was bad for the environment, cost more, took more time. And so, you know, the question is why Greece is the strategic location of Greece. You know, the question of why now is the significant investment in the port, the stability, and the precision of the operations, and now with the new rail connection, uh, and the efficiency of the customs operations here, uh, we're, we're, we're believers, we're very impressed, and we're making a commitment, and we'll be using uh, the Korea support as a hub, a regional hub, to serve the, the blue uh, area on the map, which is a significant change for us to get it. Formerly, we would serve from uh, three European operations. You know, the driving factors for these decisions were, you know, naturally the cost, because if, if you have seven less days of burning fuel, then you have the seamless days of use of capital of the ships, then it is inherently more cost effective to steam to Greece, to sail to Greece, than it is to sail to the regular port, ports to serve, to serve these markets. So that gives the turnaround time advantage of about a week. Right? And with the changing ocean freight dynamics with slower and slower steaming, that, that week is very, very important to us. So we, we've just seen that the significant investment in the port, I won't read all these statistics to you, uh, we have toured many, many ports, obviously, around the world, and uh, the port operations here, uh, we would qualify them as, as, as world class, particularly now with the, uh, with the rail connection. So we are uh, very, very uh, um, great admiration and appreciation for the significant investments that have been made by the Greek government in partnership with the uh, hospital. On, on, the, on the outbound side, so it's not just about <coughs> moving in, you know, sailing into Greece. On the outbound side from Piraeus, we also believe we have excellent sea connections that will connect us to the regional ports of the Mediterranean. Rather than going all the way to Northern Europe and flying back, we'll be able to sail to Piraeus and, and then sail back to these, these uh, radiate out in a hub and spoke fashion from Piraeus. And so this is going to create real efficiency for our operations and again, significantly reduce our carbon footprint um, by doing this versus going further in the mine, which is much more carbon intensive, and even uses to serve uh, uh, places as far away as, as Moscow. And finally, the rail connection is essential. As I mentioned, we also have a manufacturing operation in check. So the rail connection for those inbound parts, which have our intent is to bring the parts in, the freight, use the train say, to bring the parts north, the check. Uh, and also we have outbound fish goods distribution, so use block train with Transa outbound from Korea into Czech, we think this is going to create you know, a, a, a world-class network and a real competitive advantage for HP in serving our customers in the region. So, so we're, we're confident that this will make a positive impact uh, broadly, for obviously for us, where we wouldn't be here, uh, but also for the like, Greek economy, um, growth of local business, and, uh, and likewise, uh, as we've uh, uh, explained, also a positive impact on the environment with the lower carbon footprint supply chain for, uh, for us, so great for us and great for the future generations. So again, uh, uh, Mr. Granger, we thank you for your, your, your active and positive support. Uh, we were very appreciative of uh, the support of all, all the ministers and the, the pro-business um, environment attitude and action, not just words, action, uh, that you've demonstrated to us and uh, we're confident in the success of uh, this uh, collaboration with, uh, with uh, HP, Costco, and Trinose, and with the full support of the Greek government. So, so thank you for your time and your Thanks for the comments. All your comments gave us strong support. I also thank 
for the city is Pures and uh, Panama. Um, you are uh, Kevas sent uh, many good manager came and staff. This is uh, uh, generally speaking, they are higher educated, very hard work. For myself, very happy and satisfied working with them together. Also, I made thanks for HP delegation. Your project is very important. This is for Greece, for Costco, for America. We should be total and uh, I hope we can success for this project. Also, I thank my ambassador. Thanks for you always care about the strong support. So now, just you see the film. That's me, the Greek people. Action, do something is fast. Switch is slow. So that is, you see, the film very fast switch up. This is sure our very active working. Now is I want to introduce to premier all managers, all our guests. This is for for the according to the tier two. The present <coughs> at this moment, the situation we equipped sixty IMG here is the carrier. According for this tier two, we equipped eighty kilogram, but the total capacity shall be is two point six million. Uh, all guests you are see around, this is the next for new Pier 3. Up to now, this is finished constructed. This is our future. So, in order we increase the capacity, we make the new design, give the east side and put the more pentamini. This equipment should be arrived in October. So after for this new design and for the new equipment, we should be changed the capacity 2.6 million become 3.2 million. This should be the future. And for here, we also put the new equipment to increase our capacity. At the beginning, we should be put 1.1 million capacity. So now we put, after for this, we should be 1.6 million. When we visit the terminal, it's, uh, from there we say our dream. This is our dream. Is the dream, you know, for first year when we take over management for this terminal, we handle 685 to use. Is 2011 we handle 1.118 million. Last year we handle 2.1 million, even more. According to this speech, after two years, we shall be in this case, four. Because the capacity design is 3.7 million. But normally, 80 percentage, we reached the capacity. That means three million, and times we are paying the four. So that is our dream. We want to continue investment Gave the pier three <coughs> west side finish the construction. This we should be investing in the about two hundred twenty million. If for this all the pier two, P 
tier three, we shall be over capacity more six million. So for this new dream and the project, just my ambition say we must limit the one way for size. When for the governments, for the tourist terminal, when for the Costco investment here. So we can compete with other terminals. We can go to more international business from other parts to Greece to Paris. Even we got more business, we can go to more change the workers. So that is our dream. I want to go to the, my old friend is uh, PPA support. I want to go to the government support. Thanks, my old friend. Okay? Now, next time, you can. Το οποίο θα προσπαθήσουμε και αυτό ακόμα να το βελτιώσουμε. 
μόσχε σε 8 μέρε μόνο από τι πέντε μέρε. Αυτά είναι η δρομολόγια που μπορούμε και η δημοσιοποίηση που έχουμε σήμερα. Τι είναι αυτό το project, τώρα, γιατί είναι η συμφωνία. Εμεί τα, λιμά... τα καράβια τη Κόσκο έρχονται στο PCT με εμπορεύματο και εμεί καλούμαστε γι' αυτό. Ο ρόλο του δικό μα σε αυτό το έργο είναι να μεταφέρουμε αυτά τα εμπορεύματα με τον πιο αποτελεσματικό, οικονομικό και αξιόπιστο τρόπο στην δημοκρατία τη Τσεχία. Επομένω, σα πείτε το πέρα από εδώ και να φτάσει στη δημοκρατία τη Τσεχία. Αυτό είναι περίπου 2.200 χιλιόμετρα ταξιδιού. 634 χιλιόμετρα στην Ελλάδα και περνάμε άλλε πέντε χώρε, με τι οποίε έχουμε ήδη οριμάσει όλε τι ενδιάμεσε εφωνίε έτσι ώστε απρόσκοπτα αυτό που πρέπει να φτιάξει τον προορισμό. Δηλαδή, έχουμε PCT και Hewlett Packard, οι οποίε θα ενωθούν στι εγκαταστάσει και τι δραστηριότητε που θέλουν με την Τρένοψε, που θα λειτουργήσει σε έξι χώρε, 2.200 χιλιόμετρα, εκ των οποίων 2.000 χιλιόμετρα θα είναι ηλεκτρισμένα, ηλεκτροδοτούμενα. Και θα μεταφέρει το κάθε τρένο 38 σαραντάκοτα κοντέινες από αυτά που είναι έξω στο λιμάνι. Και αυτό που θέλω να σας διαβιώσω, κύριε Πρόφετο, ότι θα βελτιώσουν και τα στατιστικά σας σημαντικά όσον αφορά τις περιβαλλοντικές επιτώσεις. Γιατί λόγω και της λειτουργίας αυτής, το κάθε τρένο θα καίει, θα μολύνει ή θα επιβαρύνει την αυτόσφαλα όσο είναι φορτηγό. Δηλαδή 38 φορές λιγότερο θα επιβαρύνει το τρένο. Οι πέντε μέρε που χρειαζόμαστε τώρα, στόχο μα είναι να τι πάμε σε τρει ή μέρε και μπορούμε να τα κάνουμε. Η αρχική αυτή συμφωνία μιλάει για ένα όγκο 100 τρένων το χρόνο. Ο στόχο μα είναι να μέχρι το 2015 κατευθύνουν να μπορέσουμε να μεταφέρουμε 2.000 τρένων το χρόνο. Με ένα ισοδύναμο με 150.000 τρένων. Το 2020 και ακόμα νωρίτερα η Τρενοσέ θα είχε σε θέση να φτάσει όλου αυτού του προορισμού και να συμμετέχουν 10.000 τρένα. Η υποδομή μα μπορεί να υποστηρίξει, η εμπειρία υπάρχει και δυνατότητα τη ΠΑΠ που μπορεί να υποσχεδιάσουν και να υποστηρίξουν και να συμπτώσουν. Μια ένδειξη τι σημαίνει αυτό το 700.000 ισοδύναμα 20 κοντέινερ. Το κάθε ένα για να φτάσει ένα μέσο προορισμό περίπου έχει ένα έσοδο που υποστηρίζει περίπου 1000 ευρώ. Άρα μιλάμε για τζίρου 700 εκατομμυρίων ευρώ. Είναι νούμερο το οποίο δεν θα έχουμε διανοηθεί ποτέ στο τελικό. Ο στρατηγικό μα στόχο είναι να γίνουν ο κύριο πάροχο τη υπηρεσία στην νοτιοανατολική Ευρώπη, υπηρετώντα αποτελεσματικά παγκόσμιε εκπαιδευτικέ αλυσίδε από την Άπο Ανατολή μέχρι την Κεντρική Ευρώπη μέσω τη Ελλάδα και μέσω των ελληνικών συμπληρώτων. Σα ευχαριστώ.